it's hard to pin down metaphor exactly and have it be perfect. You can do it, but to like get it, you know, which is great with video. Because if you happen to do a video, just edit that part in and put it up, and people see you creating metaphor, which to me, creating metaphor is taking two things that are different and giving them similarity. And really, you can do it with your mind. You can transverse from a candle into a fish. Just see it transform. The candle is a fish, is a wax flame lit fish swimming through the air. It's a metaphor, man. You write songs with it. So, using metaphor is very strategic. You can, it can be very, it can be not strategic. You, it can be very wild and untrained and like Jim Morrison was really good at it, but didn't, I don't think, really realize the specific ability he had. Because if you realize your ability, you can do more than write songs with it. You can debate with it. You can turn someone's concept into another concept, envision the, the second concept. Okay, the specific example, I came into contact with someone earlier that was using a screen name, and we were having a hard time communicating, and they had chosen not to tell me their name. They told me, call them by their screen name. I said, this, okay, this is very difficult for me. I said, your screen name is like a shield, and in my mind... I envisioned, I said, it's like bringing a shield to a debate. And I, in my mind, imagined myself sitting at a round table, at an a, oval table with others, and him coming into the room with a shield and thinking, well, I shivered while I was explaining that just then. When you shiver, you lose your energy. I mean, it's the body, like, shaking out energy. So if you hold still, you can focus deep thoughts into, like, essence of feeling. When you shiver, it like dissipates. So that's why I was why I stopped in the middle of that explanation. But I'll pick it back up and continue. So I imagined in my mind this person walking into a room, coming into a room with me, meet me to debate with a shield on their arm, thinking, "Why do they have a shield?" Actually thinking. What the fuck? Having that feeling of like, of like, having that feeling, that known feeling of, like a feeling of bizarreness. I created that by imagining a shield in a debate. And that bizarreness then translated to this guy as his screen name was Bizarre. Bizarre? He was focusing on the screen name. I was focusing on a shield. I brought a feeling from that, and he felt that feeling in relation to his screen name. So through metaphor, I changed the way he felt about the, the initial thing. I, I created a metaphor and then changed how he felt about the initial by changing the feeling or offering a new feeling based on the metaphoric Metamorphosis. Meta. Meta. Metaphysics. Meta. It's like the next step. It's very simple to do. You can metaphor. The book is a table. The face is a pilot. The ghost is a whisper. The lamp is a sign. Pop. My computer said pop. Simple metaphors. Simple, simple. And you can make it very complex. But if you can create a bridge, if you can somehow take a book very quickly and turn it on its side and make it a table, you've expanded your ability to talk about the book.
I'm going to have a beautiful evening. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to get some sleep. My time change has been all messed up. It's 6.11 a.m. right now. <laughs> it's like 3.11 a.m. because I'm usually used to West Coast time. So I'm going to sleep and probably get up at noon, which is like 9 a.m. So, so I've got to cut that word so out of my vocabulary. I don't like it when I go so. Anyway, metaphor, metaphoric, metaphorical. I love words. Let's see. Peace.